Thanks for tuning in to another tips and tricks tutorial video from Social Boomin. My name is Taylor Keen, and today we are going to go over URL parameters within HubSpot so that you can track your whole customer journey and um, actually make sure that um, yeah you're getting the right things. If you if you launch your ads from HubSpot, it's going to uh, give you the correct URL parameters automatically. But if you don't, because there's a lot of advantages for not launching them in HubSpot and actually launching them in Facebook, but still keeping your tracking in HubSpot. Um, I'm going to show you how to do that really, really easily. So all you have to do when you log into HubSpot is go to your settings up here. Now, if you already have your pixel connected, what you're going to want to do is go to marketing and then go to ads. And then you're going to want to go to your um, pixels up here, right here, or you could go to the tracking template right there and actually it is just right there so click edit tracking template right here if you have i would turn on auto, auto tracking um so turn that thing on go up here and it really just depends i like the my source to be facebook ads for the not just paid social facebook so you can name this whatever you want there will be default parameters um and then these you need to leave the same to actually keep your tracking in there and then you click save. Now, once you do that again, if you launch your ads within HubSpot, your tracking is going to be good. But if you launch from Facebook, you would need to, when you go to your ads manager, this right here is blank, like you leave it blank. So you would have this completely deleted. If you had your HubSpot connected to Facebook with your auto tracking, leave it blank. Once the ad goes live, this will populate the, uh, this, these URL parameters, I didn't put those in, they were blank. So that is just one thing. If you put in your own parameters or like copy and paste those or try to make your own right here, it's just going to mess everything up within HubSpot as far as your tracking goes. So it's going to say like other campaigns or just won't show it correctly. So I think overall that will solve your Facebook tracking issues within HubSpot as far as the auto tracking and URL parameters. Um, if you do have any questions, there is some different circumstances and situations where, you know, if you're using call rail, something like that, uh, you want to, you might have to have your Facebook ad ID parameter has to be a specific thing. We can talk more about that next time. Um, but this is just simple. If you're using HubSpot, you use Facebook. Either way, if you launch your ads within HubSpot, as long as the auto tracking is toggled on, you're good to go. If not, you do it in Facebook, you leave it blank and it'll populate itself. So I hope that helps. And um, we did create a school.com community where you can ask Chris and I questions. Currently it's free, um, but we're going to, it's for marketing contractors, freelancers. We're creating like a community of us that we um, can ask each other questions and just an easy place for us to go um, rather than always in the YouTube comments um, for us all. Um, yeah. Questions were there. If you ever want us to, uh, Ask us if you, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> if you ever want us to um, have like video ideas, you can ask us in there. You can also ask us in the comments below as far as new videos that you want us to make. But we really appreciate you checking us out. Give us a like, comment, subscribe if you are liking the content and you want to see more from Social Boomin. Have a great rest of your weekend, okay? Or where week, weekend, whenever you're watching this video. <laughs>